Hey guys, it's time to start getting ready for our first test. And getting ready for a test, especially in this virtual environment, is a little different than the way we normally do it. So in a normal era, what we do is we uh, study together in class, we work on study methods in class, we kind of assign study buddies in class, and in the virtual environment that doesn't work as well. So kind of I'm conceptualizing this and thinking about it this year, is thinking about it like a flight plan. Every aircraft, when they take off, has to file a flight plan with the tower. So the aircraft has to say and let people know, here's where I'm going, here's what time I'm leaving, <coughs> here's what route I'm following, here's what altitude I'm going to be at, here's what time I'm going to get there. Why do they have to do that? To make sure they don't crash into other big pieces of metal in the sky. It's really important to file a flight plan. It helps them if something does happen. It helps them know where it happened and get emergency services there. The flight plan is critical to safely bringing an airplane from one place to the other. In the same way, our study plan that you're going to file with me, I'm the air traffic controller in this case, your study plan is going to tell me where you're flying, how you're getting there, what you're going to do to bring your plane down safely when you try to get a good grade on this test. So in this study plan, which is linked to today's lesson, you're going to fill out the form and tell me several things. Number one, where do you plan on studying? Now, let's be honest, Toledo, Ohio is not a good enough answer. That's a pretty broad answer. I want to know, like, what's the space in your house you're going to use? Is it your bedroom? Do you hide in a basement or an attic or, like me right now, a garage? Like, where is your quiet place where you can find some time to study by yourself? Second, when do you plan on studying? And it's not enough to say, well, I think I'll do it at night. Get specific, because the flight plan is as much for me as it is for you, okay? So kind of commit and promise to yourself. What days are you going to be studying? It's Wednesday as I'm making this video. Um, are you going to practice, are you going to study on Saturday afternoon, Sunday afternoon, Monday night, as we get closer to that test? What are you going to do to study? Um, what time of day? Like get specific with yourself and tell yourself, okay, I'm giving myself a half hour from 9 to 9.30 on Saturday morning. That's what I'm going to be doing. Get specific and promise yourself because once you tell yourself you're going to do something, honestly, it's half done already. Next, how do you plan on studying? What is your method? Typically, just reading over notes isn't enough. Most of us, and I include myself in this in both high school and college, most of us need to do something to study. We need to actively study. So for me, it was always note cards. I would fill out a note card. I'd put an idea or topic on one side, and you guys have gotten your review list today with this, uh, with this assignment. I'd put the term or definition that was really important on one side, put why it was important on the other. And then I could just have a deck of cards and flip through them. That was what worked for me. Some people do a study sheet where they create like a cheat sheet to use on a test, but then don't use it on the test. Um, and that cheat sheet ends up being really, really important. Um, not because you can use it on the test, but because to make the cheat sheet, you had to go through the process of relearning things and transferring them into another form again. Another thing is study buddies. Let's say you've got somebody in the house that can run flashcards with you. Let's say there's somebody in the class that you know pretty well. You guys could set up your own Zoom or Google Meet or FaceTime or whatever, and you guys could go back and forth studying on stuff and studying concepts. So these are really the three things you need to tell me. Where are you doing it? When are you doing it? How are you doing it? And with that, you will have filed your study plan for me and you get a nice, easy uh, five-point attendance assignment for today. So thanks a lot for watching, and uh, take care. Can't wait to see these. Bye.